Hey, what's up, hello guys? It's me, Paige, and welcome to another video for my Christmas thing with Paige series. Now, this video is actually kind of like a tag in some way, and this is called A Very YouTube Christmas. Now, Zoella made a video on this, and I kind of got intrigued by the title when I got confused, and it looked like a tag, and then I started watching the whole video. I'm like, I can compare my friends to some of these questions. So, I decided to write all of my friends' names on a whiteboard comparing to the questions, and I think this tag will be really funny. Now, if you, some of the people you may or may not know, and if you do know them, to refresh your memory, I'll show a video or photo of them, and you can kind of tell who they are by their personality. So, I hope you guys do this tag. I hope you like this. It's kind of an interesting tag in some ways. So I hope you guys remake this. Make sure to um, make sure to comment down below if you do, and why we just get started with this video. So the first um, question is, who would bring the best dessert? Now, in my opinion, I would think Lexi would bring actually the best dessert because I don't know. For her birthday, she gave everyone blunt cakes. If you don't know what blunt cakes are, they're like these little cakes that they look like um, fruit cakes, but they're actually not fruit cakes. And I got a red velvet one, and they're actually really good. So I'm kind of suspecting she would bring the most yummiest, if that's a word, yummiest treats ever. Because um, Lexi brings delectable stuff to school for snack and lunch all the time, so I'm kind of suspecting she would bring something good. The next question is, who would carve the turkey? Now, in my opinion, I don't know, but I kind of think this is in a funny state because all of us are like 12 and 13, and I don't think anyone would, would be able to carve a turkey. But I would suspect Fabrizio. Would actually carve the turkey because I don't know. It would be funny. It would actually be funny to see him carve a turkey. <laughs> Cause if you don't know, that kid loves Mexico. I just I'm just gonna see him carve a turkey and see how he makes that Mexican enough. So I suspect Fabrizio would carve the turkey. <laughs> so the third question is, who would take the best photos? Now in my opinion, actually, I think Vicky would bring the best photos just for one reason, because her Instagram photos are on fleek and her Snapchat photos are so professional, it's not even funny. Now, I would especially take the best photos. She just takes her photos with her iPhone, and I think it's pretty good because she edits them so well. I don't know if she edits them, but I think they are really, really good looking pictures. So, they actually look really professional. So, I suspect Nikki would take the best photos for our party. The next question is who would look the most glam? Now, everyone would kind of picture this already. Now, um, I would suspect Nicole house me her iPad. would be the most glam because she loves sparkles. A lot of sparkles. And I suspect all of us would be wearing cute, ugly sweaters, and then she would have the most cutest clothes ever. And she just had like a sparkly jumper, and that would be so cute. All of her clothes are so glammed up. I suspect Nicole would actually have the most glammed clothes ever out of all of us. The next question is, who would have the tackiest Christmas jumper? Now, I would suspect Gabby He's a Italian. would have the tackiest Christmas jumper just for one reason. Because on her Snapchat story, they're, they're having an ugly Christmas sweater party with all their jumpers and stuff. And then Gabby had the cutest Christmas jumper ever. And it's just like a Florida themed Christmas jumper. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. And very tacky at the same time. So I would suspect Gabby would actually have the tackiest Christmas jumper. 
sixth question is, who would make the worst Christmas jokes? Now, um, I would think actually Diego. Follow me on Mexican Instagram. Is real. And my Instagram is. Would actually make the worst Christmas jokes. And try not to be mean, but he says the most hilarious things sometimes. So one day we had to work. Someone must have just said cumberbums, and then he then he asked my teacher, um, Mrs. Blah blah blah, um, what's cucumber buns? He says the most hilarious things sometimes. Try not to be mean, but you kind of make everyone laugh. You make me laugh, actually. You make some people laugh, and that's kind of in a good way. So, I expect Diego would have the most worst Christmas jokes ever. The next question is, who would fall asleep first? Now, this is kind of obvious for everyone who's in my grade. That would be Hope. I wore like this sweatshirt, hood, not sweatshirt, but like this sweater hoodie thing. Hope's the kind of person who would take a nap at any time. Now, we had a lot of school dances in the recent past, and Hope fell asleep during the end of the dance already. That's how, yeah, she would be literally the first one to fall asleep during a sleepover or whenever. And... Hope would ask she fall asleep anytime during any time. She fell asleep in church once. Oh my gosh. So I'd suspect Hope would be the first one to fall asleep. The eighth question is who would be the last one dancing? Now that would be Bella. It would be kind of be Bella because I don't know. During the last dance, she was dancing the whole time. She never sat, she never got a drink, she never went to the bathroom. That's how Bella is. Bella's like super hyper sometimes and she's really funny to hang out with. And she just will be dancing all night. So I suspect Bella would be the last one dancing. The ninth question is, who would bring the worst gift? Try not to be mean, but that would be Mark. Yeah. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cash Nasty, aka your boy Cashes. Now, I would think that's Mark because for my birthday, I thought this was lovely. For my birthday, he gave me a bag and a card. I thought he wrote the card himself, but he didn't write the card. His mom made, literally signed it for him. And then the bag, he Mark didn't even know he gave me that bag for my birthday. Oh my gosh. So I would suspect Mark would give... Some people try not to be mean, but the worst Christmas gifts ever, it's Secret Santa. The next question is, who would be in charge of Christmas music? Now that would obviously be Brooke. Can I please hear you? Say hi. Hi, Paige. That would kind of be Brooke because Brooke loves Christmas. She loves Christmas more than anything. I decorated November. She still loves Christmas. Now, she's been listening to Christmas music since forever already, and I kind of suspect that of her because she loves Christmas. So, Brooke would be the one to be in charge of the Christmas music because she'd be putting like lots of like Santa Tell Me and like Santa Tell Me from Ariana Grande, some other like old school Christmas songs that all of us love. So, I suspect Brooke would be in charge of the Christmas music. The 11th question is who would be in charge of Christmas dinner? Now, that would be Naomi. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh Just because. Her mom works at the mall and stuff, and we end up going to the food court at the time, and she always ends up showing me what food we should get. Now, she would be the type of person who would just get everyone Chinese or Italian food. Now, everyone in my grade loves Chinese and Italian food. Who doesn't? Now, I know she would bring that for us because none of us want expensive food, and we're all chill. Literally one day when we were eating lunch together, the all like half of my grade, we all wanted Chinese and Italian food. Not funny. Not even funny. 
So Naomi would it be the one who was in charge of Christmas dinner. The next question is who would make the best snowman? Now that would be Anna. It would be Anna just for one reason. That girl is too creative. She is okay, Anna's really creative. She for Halloween she was Spider-Man and her costume was really creative. Now, Anna saw snow before, I know that, and she makes the most creative things ever in the world, and I think it's really, really, really cute. So, I would suspect Anna would make the best snowman out of all of us, and also, I would suspect the boys would make the worst snowman, <laughs> because no one know. I have no idea, they would try to make it inappropriate in some way. The 13th question is... Who would win at all the games? I'm stating this as a point. That would be Kyle. Right now? <laughs> Kyle likes to be right all the time. I kind of suspected that. He likes to be right all the time. He is good at basketball, football, soccer, track. More running and running, mostly sports. Oh my gosh, he would want to be right at everything. He would win at everything. It's kind of, I'm trying not to be mean. I know you watch my videos, but mm -hmm. he would win at every single game we play. Even, I don't even know, Dr. Goose would actually, you would actually win at that. I have no idea why. So Kyle would, win all the Christmas games we would play. <laughs> the next question is, who is most likely to knock over the Christmas tree? Now that's Lucas. Happy birthday. Lucas is a dear friend of mine. He is the most funniest person I ever met in the world. Not, not trying to be mean, but you would mostly, okay. Lucas kind of mess, messes up things sometimes. Not for me, but for everybody sometimes. Now, I would suspect you would knock over a Christmas tree. Just for one reason. Okay, so we were FaceTiming one day, and then he thought some robbed his house, so we went downstairs with a baseball bat. And he fell over. He's just the most hilarious person I ever met in the world. So I suspect Lucas would most likely to knock over a Christmas tree. Final question is, who would be the best Santa impersonator? That would be Nikki or Nicholas. I don't know because I kind of suspected because Nikki was a Mexican Donald Trump for Halloween. If you didn't see the picture already. Um, yeah, I'm kind of suspecting he would try to make Santa into like a weird twist in some way. Since for Halloween he was a Mexican Donald Trump. So, <laughs> I would suspect Nikki would be the best Santa impersonator. <laughs> Now, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up if you're new. Please subscribe, and you'll be notified every time I post a video. Now, I hope you guys kind of like this video. It's kind of like a funny aspect or something. Um, I hope to like some of the photos and videos that I kind of added into this video. And I hope some of my friends who are named in this video are watching this video, and I love you guys. So, I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below any video ideas. I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye! Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't